Sam, uh, hopefully you can stick around. Is that okay? Oh, yes. Please. Okay. We need to get to our next guest. Uh, he is the aforementioned uh, National Basketball Association. Oh. What was it? What There was the ABA, right? ABA. That was all, the American. Amer- American Basketball Association. Right. And they, they used to be there at the same time. Uh-huh. And then suddenly the NBA like just, just it. sucked it up and 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 shit it out. And now we have what is known as the NBA. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a head coach. Uh, please welcome Coach Gan Vundy. Oh, thank you for having me here today, Scott. Uh, it's, it's our Sam. pleasure. This is yeah. Sam. Yeah. Sam, Sam Richardson close. from Have Have you ever seen the uh, television show Veep? Uh, I sure have. Yeah, with uh, Julia uh, uh, Louis uh, Louis Dreyfus. Mm-hmm. You a Seinfeld fan? Uh, I am a Seinfeld fan. Yeah. Fanatic or just someone who's seen Seinfeld? Yeah, just aware of. I would call myself uh, an appropriate level fan of the show. Okay. <laughs> appropriate meaning at at its peak, you would watch it every uh, week, much like everyone in that appropriate in that level, or but but not a, in someone who knows trivia. <clears throat> I was uh, watching uh, primetime TV when it was on, and I would watch it every week. I have occasionally watched it in uh, reruns. Occasionally. Uh, I've had a few conversations with friends over the years where we go, uh, hey, what's your favorite episode of Seinfeld? We sort of go around the horn and everyone shares their favorite episode. You ever do one of these with your friends, like which Seinfeld character are you? At as of this time, I have not done that. That would be fun to do with your friends. Yeah. yeah. I, I would ask you, which which one would you say you identify yourself with? Out of the four, yeah. yeah. Well, for a long time, I think I uh, saw myself as a, as a Jerry. Mm-hmm. Uh, sort Jeff, of the straight Jerry man? Seinfeld, the main... The, uh, yes, Jerry Seinfeld, yeah. yes, the main character. And um, lately, I've... Uh, Kind of been taking on a, a, a bit of more of a Kramer energy. Oh, really? A little Kramer more frenetic. Is Jerry's neighbor who uh, enters from abruptly. across the hall. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 is that due to circumstantial changes in your life, or uh, it's actually uh, related to why I'm here today? Oh, why are oh. you? Oh, I I was under the impression you were here to talk about Seinfeld. Is that not the case? Uh, I, it, th- that is not why I had planned on being here. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> l- maybe we could alternate questions. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so one about whatever you're here to talk about, and then we'll dip into Seinfeld trivia. I feel comfortable with that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sam, you have anything locked and loaded for Seinfeld uh, trivia? Seinfeld question? Yeah. Yeah. You a fan of Seinfeld? I, I am a fan of Seinfeld. Okay, great. So just have those at the ready. Okay. Because I, I, I'm going to need that. So uh, I guess my first question would be, uh, Coach Gan Vundy, uh, w- what team are you the coach of? Uh, I'm the coach of the uh, uh, Bismarck Dinner Dogs. They're a an expansion team. Oh, one of the new expansion teams. New okay, expansion I, I guess I haven't heard about this one. Yeah, I, um, it, it doesn't come on my league pass. Yeah, yeah, we're not a uh, we're but we're behind the uh, the extra paywall on the league pass. Meaning they're not televised. They will televise if we're playing a team like uh, the Houston Rockets. They will televise the Houston players. Um, uh, but our players are covered by big green boxes. <laughs> okay, so so there you don't have a deal then with the NBA, the people who televise NBA games currently, so they have to hide you guys. Yeah, there's not the interest there, mm-hmm. and uh, they're trying to uh, play they're, into they're the, the mystery. They're actively trying to hide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. the mystery. Yes. So people are. You're hoping the people will be like. Wow. Uh, Got to see what's happening uh, from behind these green boxes. That's really hooked me. That's like the mm-hmm. end of uh, uh, the first act of a great mystery. Uh, who done it? That's right. Right. Our first three games were free, and then all, all the rest were <laughs> okay. uh, behind the green boxes. Sam, uh-huh. Seinfeld question? Uh, was the soup Nazi normalizing? Normalizing for, uh, for Nazism? For Nazism. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's been a big uptick in... Uh, certainly the alt-right and uh, uh, that that type of behavior this year. Do you think it was due to the soup Nazi? Uh, I, I think he could – he's he's part – he shoulders a portion of the blame. Yeah. A portion. A portion. Yes. A generous portion, like a healthy portion? Very small portion. Okay. I would give uh, Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld a bigger portion as okay. the writers as, and as, creators. As to the rise of the alt-right, That's you would right. give Larry David a bigger portion than – Yes, I would. A generous portion for him? <laughs> yes, I would say that. Okay. Yeah. Great. All right. That answers my question. All right. Um, so now why are you here? 
Uh, well, you were I, about to take a sip of something, and I asked you that question. You, you, you go ahead. Uh, Sam and I will stall while you take yeah. a little sip of that. You, right. you go right ahead. All right, and I will let you know when I'm done. Okay. Sam, with the, the Seinfeld question, like you hit him with a really yeah, tough sorry, a re, a real right hook right off the bat. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, like you almost <sighs> flattened him. We well, yeah, because I wanted the truth. And yeah, I, I if, know, I, if, if I if I softball, trying to just ease up yeah. a little bit. I mean, okay. it's a friendly okay. interview that we're fair, trying to do. Fair here. enough. You done with that yet? Ready to go when you okay. go. You ready to go? Okay. Why are you here? Uh, well, I have been in the news lately uh, for some uh, uh, of my behavior, uh, both on and off the court. And uh, the team and also the league has asked me to – they're sending me on a press tour to just sort of clear the air about what's going on. So, so. you've been in the news due to some of your behavior on the court? Yeah. On and the, on, off the court. That's right, yeah. So, let's talk about your behavior on the court. Uh, well, if uh, you have if, – if you've paid to be able to see our games – Right. Uh, actually, Spectators. you wouldn't see this because you don't have. You have to be there live. But um, are, at our, at our at, when people pay to see you live, are they also trying to disguise the identities of all the players? Uh, yeah, they. Uh, if you haven't paid to uh, watch us, um, they put the guys in these uh, green sacks, <laughs> so anyone can come in to watch. But the people who have not, not anyone, you have to pay, you have to buy a ticket. You have to buy a ticket. So then who are the sacks for? Because <laughs> oh, you're, you're inside. Theoretically, you're inside. Yeah. Who are Our guys, uh, their anyone sacks. Anyone sneaks in? They're, they're, they are sacks. Uh, their feet stick out the bottom so they can still run, which is good. Oh, thank okay. goodness. Um, and then everyone who comes in to watch the game, if you have paid – to watch the dinner dogs, then mm-hmm. you get special glasses that allow you to see through the set. Like those oh, x-ray okay. glasses advertised in the back of comic books? Yeah. I guess they're they like that. They virtual the reality? Or, yeah. I mean, they're like that, and then they're also glasses. They're not like that in that they're available immediately, and you don't have to mail away. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, sure. Fair. So if you go to this game, everybody there is wearing glasses. <laughs> That are like one sure. eye red, one eye blue. And how many people are sneaking in and don't get the glasses? Is it worth it, the expense for the glasses? Yeah. And isn't like not wearing the glasses enough of a <laughs> indicator that person has not paid? Shouldn't they just toss these people? Yeah. What I'll say is a lot of these questions are above my pay grade. They are. I mean, you're getting Head paid. Coach. A lot of money to be a head coach of an NBA team, I it would imagine. That's true, yes. But so, but you you think that's for people above that? I, you know, they're the the owner of the team. That's a different job. Okay, you know? right? Don't you think that some of those questions should be like logistical questions about the games themselves? It's should changed be the way by. I coach. Yeah, it's really? definitely Are, changed the way I. You're coach. coaching differently because of the glasses. Well, yeah, because a lot of the times in most of the games, my guys are not allowed to use their hands. They're not, and because uh, of the sacks? inside of the sacks. It's a major part of. Uh, that's major part of the game. That's a good fifty percent of basketball, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It's is interesting the hands to the feet to the to the ground. It's interesting the way that uh, we've adapted, and I think that we've kind of got a rhythm going now with no hands. Is it and, like what do you do? Is it like soccer, or how do you bounce the ball around? How do you how does one dribble on your team? Are you familiar with uh, a small aquatic animal uh, called a seal? Yes, I am. I is that what the Navy SEALs are based are off based of. off of? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm That's who in. they're protecting, is my understanding. Ah, okay. They're they're protecting SEALs. The, SEALs. Oh, the Navy SEALs are. They killed the Osama regular... bin Laden too, didn't they? A yeah. couple of them. He was coming for SEALs. He was coming for SEALs. <laughs> really? Yeah. So that's uh-huh. what they were upset about they with were that upset guy. About, yeah. Interesting. Among other things. Okay, so I I believe Sam and I both are. Familiar with the concept of a seal, if not, you know, uh, really intricately involved. Yeah. Well, a, a, a seal is able to catch a, a beach ball on its nose. Okay. And so uh, my guys are able to sort of catch a basketball on their on the on the tip of their heads, uh-huh. the top of their heads. So not their noses. Well, the nose is under the sack. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, got it. Yeah. So, but the top. So the sack is cut off at forehead level. Oh no, they're fully in the sack. Fully in the sack. Is oh, there I like see. eye holes? Uh, we tried that, but because of the movement on the court, uh, they kind of get twisted and turned around. So, oh, okay. Uh, what I've been doing is in practice. I have them practice in the sack. 
Uh, and that kind of helps them get ready for games. I would imagine. Probably. And yeah. now. It's like soccer players aren't out there practicing just throwing the ball around. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah. All right, get into the game. <laughs> game conditions. You kind of want to practice under those. Yeah, totally. Well, at first we you did some like practices. You sound like a good coach. First we did some practices with uh, bandanas, and I said, this is an <laughs> This is almost it, but not completely it. Yeah. And did you have the sacks lying around while you were practicing with these sure. bandanas? Yeah. Just pick up Our the game sacks. Day sacks. Yeah. Well, first thing I did was call the owner and say, I think you should order another set of sacks that'll be our practice sacks. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Uh-huh. Double so the got sacks. Practice sacks. What did he say? Well, he agreed. The problem is practice sacks way bigger than our game time sacks. So oh, it is a completely oh, no. different feel, but Yeah. That's yeah. too bad. Now big does bigger it's make on, that more was on me. To use? Bigger uh you know, they get a little bit more uh, range of motion in terms of their limbs, but there is a, a greater deal of tripping, or there was, I mm-hmm. should say, because they've started it. Now they're pretty good at they're pretty practice good at and game time. Set. Now, these these sound like incredible athletes to be able to play blind uh, with all of their movement restricted thusly. Uh, I would say if any of these guys get traded to a different team, uh, they are going to be dominating. Like the Harlem yeah. Globetrotters suddenly, because... Of yeah, the stuff they can do in the sack. They're playing with such a, a deficit here. Yeah. Yeah. So, amazing. Sam, hit him with the Seinfeld Yeah. Question. Do you think uh, uh, Newman and uh, and Kramer were, like, really friends, or they just find, like... Yeah, Is it like uh, a, a friendship of convenience? Of convenience. You know, I think a lot of friendships sort of start that way uh, due to proximity. Who's your best friend? Uh, my best friend. Yeah. Uh, his name is uh, Keith Cavenwood. Keith Cavenwood? Yep. <laughs> and what does What's Keith he, do? Keith, he is a <laughs> – uh, he, well, he's a used car salesman. Really? Yeah. So pre-owned cars. Pre-owned cars. And cars that were owned by someone. Uh, they've had their fill of the car. <laughs> they've had their time in the sun. You, are you familiar with uh, <laughs> I car, am. cars? Okay. I am. So anywhere from one day to uh, – sometimes it can be up to 60 years. Yes. 70 mm-hmm. years. Uh, some, 70 years. I, I think 70 Jay, years for one car. Jay Leno, I believe, has some that are probably over 100 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At least wheels. Yeah. At least the wheels. At yeah. least the wheels. Yeah. He probably has a couple. If you go in his garage, he's probably like, yeah, I just got the wheel, the fifth <laughs> one. <laughs> so this, like, this, wheel. Is, this is all right. Yeah. yeah I, like, oh, the, cool. wheels are, the wheels are fine. I think he can imagine the whole thing. Yeah. Because he, he, he's a, a wheel head. Yeah, exactly. So, Keith, where did you meet Keith? Uh, we started out... Uh, as friends, because we lived on the same block. And you did. So huh? We started out from proximity, but then over shared experiences and uh, acts of kindness towards each other, uh, our friendship deepened. And uh, now, even though we live very far away from each other and are completely different fields, we still have a special bond. And where does I would he still live? I'm sorry, him my best friend. Where did you both live? That you were on the same block. What what uh, what town was this? Uh, in the center of Lake Michigan. In the, ah, s- in the center of the center? lake itself? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah there were, on an island? Uh, on, a, on a floating uh, sort of a paddock. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> both lived on a paddock mm-hmm. in the Our, center? Well, our families did. Yeah. Your families did? Okay, no, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a three-family paddock, and mm. uh, Got the, it. Third, Sir. the third family, no children, just birds. Okay, were you, have- were you friends with this uh, uh, birdful family? Uh, they were birds. They were birds. Yeah. Oh, it was a family of birds. birds. Oh, God. I yeah, thought you meant okay. they didn't have children. They had birds. I could see why you would think that from how I said it. Right. Yes. Uh, but that's just a misunderstanding. They were, in fact, birds. I would say I, I was friends with those birds. You were. Not in the same way that I'm friends with human beings. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would say that um, I showed no ill will towards them and they didn't towards me. Sure. And there's not a lot of communication, I would imagine, between birds and yourself. Tried. Okay, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> now, why though? You mention your your behavior on the court uh, and off the court. What is this behavior? Seem like a drop in the bucket, uh, really. When you look at the whole picture <laughs> of <laughs> sort of what the team is going through right now. <laughs> okay. But I'll tell you what, it's not helping. Right. It sounds like there's a lot of challenges with the team. I've just had a, purely in the sport. Sure. I've had a lot of erratic behavior on the court because. Uh, yeah, at, at, at our uh, recent game, we played a game in Phoenix, and after the game, uh, a trickster demon uh, by the name of Azaban approached me outside my hotel room <laughs> uh, in the form of a coyote, and he offered to help us uh, win games, and uh, I took him up on his offer. So 
You did okay. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm curious. Was he did so? He was in the form of a coyote and yeah. spoke like a like a, like a man. Did he or speak an in coyote language, and you suddenly somehow understood it, or was he speaking in English? Right, or was it like a disembodied voice? He was speaking in English. Uh, his mouth was moving. Okay, um, did it match the English words, or were, was it just kind of going up and down? Much like uh, one of those, you know, pet movies from the 80s yeah. where mm-hmm. all they did was they got the, the animals butter, to like lick peanut butter. Or, yeah. I would say the every movement of his mouth matched perfectly with the sounds that he was making. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So that's, yeah, that's legit right and that, there. That struck me as strange. Uh, that struck, you would have expected it the other way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm more familiar with. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. No, Absolutely. Uh, my childhood friend Keith is a prankster. So if there's a coyote outside my hotel room and it's just going meow 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 meow, and there's words coming, I'm gonna you would have thought is Keith has from set Keith. something up. Classic yeah. Keith. What are some of the pranks he's played? He sounds really funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, <laughs> you're just laughing thinking about it. <laughs> oh yeah, they're very good and uh, <laughs> really excellent pranks. Yeah. Well thought out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing done off the top of his head, like years of meticulous nope. planning. <laughs> really thought about something that was really going to make me uh, stand up and say, what the heck is going on here? I don't know that we have time to get into these pranks, though, uh, because I, I still don't know what you mean when you said you made some sort of a compact with oh, this yeah. this uh, prankster demon. Is that what you said? Named Azaban? Yes, that's his name. Yeah. Azaban. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and he... He offered you. He offered to help us win games, and uh, I think help you win games, or you were gonna win the games. Like, what was the deal that you made? He uh, implied that <laughs> winning would happen. Implied. Uh, there was no. <laughs> there was no guarantee. Uh, he didn't. You know. So I, you inferred from just his general demeanor. Well, he has a very sly tongue, and he's very convincing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you, I mean, I don't know if you like, recall like what like his words were. You know, he's a trickster. I mean, I'm just just even like off the bat. I'm like, interesting. Yeah, I would have parsed his words really, you know, to make sure that you were getting what you expected to get from him. Uh, he promised me that uh, we would make the playoffs this year. Okay. Oh, okay. At least. Okay. At least. Uh-huh. And why don't you, yeah. now why don't you say that's a good first offer, but we want to win the championship? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're... Uh, the position that we're in right now is a new team. You're uh, happy with the playoffs? From playing within inside of uh, sacks. <laughs> right. Um, right. Uh, you know, I think if I made the playoffs, I, I'd be pretty darn happy. So Okay, yeah. so you were just, you were fine with that. Uh, I saw, I, I, that seemed like a great deal to me. Okay, so you entered into this arrangement? Mm-hmm. And since then, I think we have been playing better and... You know, you see the difference. Uh, You've been winning games. Yeah. We've been winning games. Been yes. winning games. Oh, I was going to ask, like, are you just scoring at all? Uh, well, we did uh, start scoring more points um, than the other and team. Then that's how you win the, games. The yeah. number of points that we were able to score a lot of times have resulted in, in a victory. They've exceeded the points of the opposing team. They're also scoring points. The, okay, yeah. uh, I I was confused on that. Well, and and <laughs> yeah. as I made this uh, pact with him, I thought maybe there's a chance that these guys are just going to be putting up air balls or just uh-huh. slipping and falling and not shoot making any <laughs> right or eating any bananas point. on the court and yeah. tossing the peels over their shoulder and uh-huh. making their their players their teammates slip on them. Uh, based on what I can see, uh, their play has not changed at all. Oh, okay. Really? So it's just the same standard of play? Yeah. I think the way that these trickster demons work is they uh, affect the team that they are in cahoots with and, uh-huh. and have no bearing, no on, the bearing on the other like, team. Yeah, the Great. one who enters in the contract. They is, can make is, us better. They can't make them worse. Because, yeah, uh-huh. I guess that would be very unfair to the other team to make them worse because that would affect their, like, you know, I mean, a lot of these teams, they, they want to be traded, to, the players want to be traded to other teams, and if That's suddenly right. they're playing poorly, mm-hmm. that would be, that would negatively affect their future their employment. Their future, their families, right. you know, uh, and all that branches on. Each one, each one of these guys is themselves like a company, so that would infect the bottom line of, like, everybody. Are you talking about Seinfeld right now? I or? am talking about Seinfeld. Okay. How much per episode do these guys make? How much did each of the cast members make? Yes. Or, sorry, and, each, and, the and the characters. And the characters, yes. yes. And the characters as well. <laughs> yes, it prorated. Mm-hmm. Most, I would say most episodes took place over 
three days? Over, like over three days. I know the yeah. Chinese restaurant one, that was over uh, 22 minutes, yeah. but most of them are an average of three days. Three days. You, Prorate their salaries to how much they're probably making. Mm-hmm. Okay, well. And then, like, then take it from like uh, like 95 bucks to 2019 bucks. Yeah, if you could, yeah. I'll be able to do that. Okay. And then uh, do you want me to factor in, now Jerry was a comedian pretty much the entire run of the show. Uh-huh. George had a number of different jobs, so I, and so did mm-hmm. Elaine and Kramer now that I'm thinking I would about it. say average out their salaries as well based on yeah. every job based okay. on every job they had yeah jerry was pretty consistent although he did sell the tv show he sold the tv show mm-hmm. with and george george yeah did it too but yeah. george seemed to lose all of his money too uh-huh. and anyway yeah have at it okay and then do you want the answer uh by the end of the show or? oh no i'd like it I mean, relatively yeah, quickly 45 uh, seconds yeah jeopardy rules yeah okay all right <laughs> I don't think I hit it. Was it too much of a hardball question? I, think, I don't really. He seems like he's able to seems handle like he's it. Yeah. it. right? Yeah. Okay. I think so. What was George's role as a part of the Yankees organization? I'm starting from someplace that I'm a little bit comfortable with. <laughs> he had, All I've done so far is on a piece of paper, I've written down Jerry. <laughs> and then George. next to him, I've written George. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then uh, once I factor out those two guys, I'm going to flip the paper over. <laughs> and I'm going to write Elaine. <laughs> And 45 seconds. There we go. Okay. What do you, you're, I, I need an answer. Okay. Well, um, I'm a little baby and, uh, I need to, I need you to change my diaper. <laughs> I don't think that we can accept I, I mean, that. I want to. It's close. It's got, I have to apologize that I wasn't in control of my words there. That was, uh, yeah, that was very odd. That uh, didn't yeah, seem as, like an answer. What do you, why did you say that? We, what, and uh, what do you mean you weren't in control of your words? As a band, the trickster demon took over. It's a part of the deal that I struck with him, which is he can control me at any time and make me do something uh, foolish and uh, oh. silly. And Ooh, now that's so. got to have its, that's, that's got to, have this have some times that's not ideal. I mean, you. This I would say is one of them because uh, I don't want that out on the airwaves that I'm a baby. I am not a baby. You're not. A, you seem to be a full grown man. Yeah. I don't know I, anything I don't, about. I the, don't need to have a diaper. The contents change. of your diaper. Yeah, uh, well, I don't have a diaper on. I don't, yeah, I didn't smell anything either. And yeah. a grown man's like diaper feelings. I yeah. feel like we would we'd all know. know. We know. Does this have anything to do with your behavior on and off the court? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I mean, that's an example of one thing <laughs> that has happened uh, on the court and also at home. Yeah. You've you've said those words on the court? Things things of that nature, yes. Now, normally a coach is not allowed uh, on the court during, during, like, during play, play yeah, yeah. game play. Well, I wish someone would uh, explain that to Azaban. <laughs> Do you uh, think Azaban knows or is... I think he does know. Uh, He's not confused about the rules of well, the NBA. The one thing I will say is he does seem invested in us winning now, okay. and that is part of his deal. So right. having me run on the court and get technical a lot of times will stop, <laughs> right? Impede us from. So uh, I would winning. imagine and during gameplay you're sort of safe. He's uh, he's a little bit of a nuisance, this guy, but he is a he is a creature of his word, and, mm. and he does want us to win. So okay, yeah, yeah. He tries to keep my sort of uh, silly behavior to. Uh, pre-game activities, the national anthem. Well, what are some of the things you've done during the national anthem? The other yeah. night during the national anthem, uh, he had me run out onto the court, and I took the microphone away from the young lady that was singing the national anthem, and I announced to everyone that I was the Poo Poo King, and that I love Poo Poo, <laughs> and that I'm yeah. proud and humble to be its king. And obviously, you know, that's not true. That's, None of that's no, true. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that it's yeah. obvious that's I mean, not it's, true. Yeah, but. I, yeah I, I'd say. I'd say <laughs> did, did, did I strike you guys as possibly uh, as like a poo poo sovereign? Poo. I don't know that anyone who has that sort of like scatological fetish really presents themselves as someone, unless maybe they have smelly hands sure, when you shake hands with them. Right. Or something, maybe but, it's hidden. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on mm-hmm. whether or not you're the poo poo king. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially as like a king, you know, like all that's essentially yeah. going to be like sacred stuff. So you're not just like. Flaunting it, yeah, really. exactly. I would assume. I would assume. Right. So you know, my mental picture of that was always different because I always thought that maybe if someone was an actual poo poo king, that they would um, be dressed in the finest garments, uh, the finest garments that one can buy. As, yes, yeah, but yeah. and then also covered in fecal matter. That or? is kind mm-hmm. of my understanding of okay, it. Okay, a lot of this stuff is new to me. I've just mostly 
been a basketball coach. <laughs> you haven't uh, yeah. focused on that player yeah. then coach and then uh, you haven't had any sort of Google search of poo poo king or anything like that. If one were to comb through your browser history, I just am nervous about how that's going to affect my algorithms if I start looking yeah. at stuff. Sure, yeah. of, luckily not televised either. No. The national anthem was not televised during this game? No, it wasn't. Okay, this was a, another one of the expansion teams? Oh, well, uh, it was a home game for us. Home game. A home game for you. Okay, yeah. so even if uh, uh, the Houston Rockets were to come to your home game, it would not be televised? None of the home games are televised. None, None of the home. Nothing. Why would anyone come to play you then? Well. Is it optional for the <laughs> other teams? It is currently. Okay, and yeah. uh, a lot of the a lot of the teams I think are showing up uh, out of purely out of morbid curiosity because they've heard about the sacks and everything and, <laughs> and the poo poo king. <laughs> well, this is a newer development, <laughs> yeah. which it was the last thing we needed. So the sacks predated the compact sure. with Azaban. Sure. Ah, uh, okay. You can understand why I'd want to get hundred percent. You want any, any leg up? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so if I had my guys on the court. Ability to see, ability to use their hands and mm-hmm. move around the court unimpeded by a big green sack. I'm not going to get into an, <laughs> any sort of agreement with any sort of like supernatural being. Certainly, I, well, I wouldn't certainly. do that. Yeah. So you you made this deal with him, and that was part of the deal was he was able to control your body. Does this last through the season, or is this something that goes on for the rest of your life? Somewhere mm-hmm. in between? Uh, somewhere less? These are good questions that I have tried to uh get some answers out of him in terms of uh, but he is a little bit of a slippery guy and and, mm. and doesn't want to necessarily let me know the entire Can rules you i think call he's deriving him? some yeah. pleasure how are you talking to him are, are you able to summon him somehow he appears in a puff of smoke uh, at uh, at any time mm. uh, and he usually gives me no warning uh, no warning uh, at all uh, the one thing i can count on is he has been showing up to all team meetings and practices and games uh, because uh, he's he's been getting in there working with the guys. He's been putting to, people yes. through drills and stuff. Yes, he is. <laughs> so wait a minute, is he now, just coaching? Yeah, he's, he, well, part of his deal was he was going to help us win games. So uh, so he's just coaching the players. That's yeah. how he's he's not doing it through magic. No, he's a great coach. He uh, yeah. <laughs> really knows how to talk to these guys because there's a lot of ego uh, on our team, and uh, there's Why? A, you know a delicate mix of personalities. <laughs> It's, they're playing for your team. I think a lot of them are upset <laughs> to be in Bismarck. I guess, yeah. 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 I, I don't I think I uh, a lot of these guys have you know worked their whole lives to be in the NBA, and they didn't imagine that they'd be a dinner dog because it didn't exist until only a couple of months ago. So. Right. So, uh-huh. so this, so Azaban is coming to your practices, putting mm-hmm. the players through drills, yeah. giving motivational speeches. That's right. And then before. Sometimes during, not often, and then after games, he's inhabiting your body uh, and forcing you to do things that are embarrassing. And you've been in the news recently because of this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Can, can I <laughs> ask? Does your <laughs> which news outlets yeah. <laughs> have been covering your story? Because I haven't seen these. Uh, Bismarck Today. Oh, okay. okay. The local, uh-huh. just all local, local media. Rags and mm-hmm. such. New York Times, Washington Post. Washington. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that rag. Uh, <laughs> Does your general manager know what's going on here? Uh, he does, and he assures me that um, you know this. Is, he's very happy about the situation. Oh, okay, and, okay. Uh, he, you know, if the contract does expire at the end of the season, he's already talking to me about trying to strike another deal with him. It sounds to me like maybe he should just make a coaching change and hire Azaban. You seem to be sort of a liability to the team now. I mean, are you getting any coaching in at all? I think a lot of the guys on the team trust me, and uh, I think also some of the behaviors he's putting me through is kind of uh, reminding us all that it's fun, you know, <laughs> what we're doing. Like I guess so, yeah. Like during the leavening. game last night, uh, they were <laughs> yeah. they were trying to play, and uh, he had me sort of waddle along the sidelines on, on my knees, and he he had me like say, a dwarf uh, situation, a yep. Tim Conway dwarf. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I was <laughs> referring to myself as Little Tony, and I was asking the guys to get little like me and give me sweet little kisses, and uh, you know that's fun. The fans like it. Fan, yeah. So you've become sort of the <laughs> mascot. <laughs> mascot. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. Little Tony, mm-hmm. the Bismarck. What is it? Bismarck dinner dog. Dinner, dinner dogs. dogs. Mm-hmm. Little Tony, the Bismarck Dinner Dogs mascot, yeah. is what you, your job essentially is. Well, I was uh, about the size of a dog, 
you know, mm-hmm. down on my knees. <laughs> right. Uh, I would imagine, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a healthier dog, a, a, a little, maybe a Great Husky Dane of or, some sort or, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I think a dinner-worthy dog. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if were I to be the, the owner, first of all, I, don't, I think I would take the sacks off. I don't think yeah. they, they need all this security, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say, but... Uh, but maybe they don't want YouTube videos out there on YouTube Premium, you know, just uh, circulating of their copyrighted games, you know. Uh, so maybe I'm it's... happy to bring <laughs> that idea to him. Yeah, yeah. I, I would take the that would be my first job in trying to get this team uh, uh, to win. But I mean, secondly, I would hire Azaban. He sounds like a great coach. Yeah, and I, but I, w- I would keep you on as the mascot. Okay, you sound just, very funny. Just yeah. to defend myself here, I, I don't think he. Uh, really understands he, he's he's been wasting timeouts and uh, oh really he well, doesn't know how to get these guys to close out quarters and he, he doesn't know everything about but they've been the winning coaching. they've been winning they've been winning but some of them have been pretty sloppy wins how Look. many games has azaban lost since taking on the duties of head coach all right i'm gonna flip over the piece of paper that i was <clears throat> using for the seinfeld uh yeah, I don't want the words Jerry and before. George to distract you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just trying to make a tally of the games that we have played. 45 seconds. Yep. All right. Okay. I don't need him with another Seinfeld question, but I don't... Yeah, I don't know. He seems very thrown by this question. Very but do you have one on deck? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of What was the question that again? That it was how many games has Azaban lost? He's since... lost to zero, yeah. But you say he's not a great coach... Because he doesn't know how to close out quarters? How are you closing out quarters? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, we... How many timeouts are left over at the end of a game? Yeah. The, the purpose of the timeouts is not to save them all <laughs> and to have them all intact <laughs> by the end of the game. You want to use these things. I for a streak of... Uh, I hadn't used uh, <laughs> any timeouts so far in the game. <laughs> <laughs> how are those games? I thought that was pretty impressive. We were not... Coming in with the win at the end of those games. <laughs> you lost. You lost them. <laughs> I think we you, these guys were playing. They were pl- they were they were showing a lot of mental toughness. Uh, I, think I don't. I don't think they were showing anything because games. they're behind a sack. Okay. Well, you and I <laughs> disagree there. You know, because it's more than just winning at the end of the day. What is it to yeah. you? What is your whole ethos as a as a coach, as a head coach? Yeah. What's your goal? To are we going to have a good story at the end of this? Do we gonna look back and go those that year in Bismarck was? That what was. do you mean? Are the players going to be complaining after the game, like stories like that? Like, hey, coach made me not use the timeout when I was just right. about put my I, put I, my hands in a T for timeout. He intercepted and interceded. I find happy stories to be compelling. I find funny stories to be compelling. And sometimes stories where there's a conflict at the middle of it, those are the most compelling. <laughs> All right, look, we need to take a break, uh, uh, Coach Gan Vundy. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, but uh, we're going to go to a commercial right now. Can you stick around? Uh, because Sam has another Seinfeld question for you on the other. 